Should we examine the data first? There's probably a machine around here that can play it back. Are you thinking about what that girl said? Don't be fooled by her words, Sophie. They were designed to lower your defenses. Hey, why don't you come rest with me? It's okay. I'm fine. But... Okay, but if you need anything, just ask. The city appears safe for now. But we'll be hard-pressed if any more of those monsters show up. Yes, and it's only a matter of time until they do. I'm concerned. If left unchecked, these creatures could wipe out all of Aphinia, too. Okay, that should do it. Research team have perished. They brought these samples back with their lives. We cannot let them go to waste. I agree. Very well. Proceed with the research. The core's current structure is similar to that of an immune system. So it's as if Fodre is trying to rid itself of a virus. And in this scenario, the virus is... Yes, I'm afraid so. The Little Queen's target is none other than... humanity itself. Why? Why has Fodre forsaken us? How could this have happened? It's only a matter of time until the Little Queen arrives. Get out now, while you still can. No, sir! We are going to stay with you until the end! Then I assure you, you won't be here much longer. Sir, I'm afraid we have no choice but to shut down Fodra's core. But that will set the entire planet on a path to ruin. Sir, if we don't, there won't be any humans left on the planet. However... Sir, there's still hope. We still have Aphinia. We can survive this. Very well. Shut down the core. We are here. We have heard your decision.
The, the little queen! Was that all real? As far as I can tell, that all happened about a thousand years ago. Why did Fodra turn on them? Good question, but one that can wait. We have more pressing concerns right now. Right. We need to find a way to stop the Little Queens. Is that even possible? Well, I mean, we could try shutting down the core or whatever. That's what those scientists said in the video. But did they succeed? It seems that they were killed before they could act. Well, Fodra's core was shut down for almost a thousand years. They must have found a way. Hmm. Well, I kind of sort of have an idea. But it involves Lambda. Interesting. If we have Lambda absorb the core's Aleph... But what would happen to Asbel? I would be unharmed, but I can't speak for you. If I absorb the core's Aleph, it will pass through both your mind and your body. The strain would be too much for a fragile human to withstand. If anything were to go wrong, your body and mind would be completely obliterated. Why didn't that happen to Richard? Richard's body and his mind were almost completely under my control. So a normal human can't handle the Elif. But you can. Is that right? What are you planning? Lambda, I need a favor. You are not hearing me, human. This procedure will utterly destroy you. No, it won't. It's too dangerous to rely on Lambda. And even if we did, Asbel could be torn apart in the process. It's okay. I can do this. You mustn't. Don't be a fool. Think about what you're saying. I have. I'm going to let Lambda take over temporarily. What? You're going to voluntarily let Lambda take control? That's madness! It's not madness, Captain. Don't do this! Lambda will absorb you, just as he did to me! If that happens, you won't be Asbel anymore. Guys, I'm just lending it to him. It's not permanent. And after I give up control, Lambda can absorb the Elith and seal it inside himself. Because Elith is only dangerous during the period where it's flowing. So Asbel's going to offer himself to Lambda for just that little bit of time. That would minimize the strain for sure, but... Won't absorbing all that Elith allow Lambda to become active again? That's a good point. Do you really believe Lambda will just hand your body back once he's done? Yes, I do. Lambda went out of his way to save us. We all saw it. If he was willing to do that, I'm willing to put my trust in him. Besides, we don't really have a choice. We have to shut down Fodra's core. There's no doubt that Elith from the core is responsible for the new monsters around here. 
And I bet it's responsible for the monsters on Aphinia, too. Asbel is correct. One way or another, we have to shut it down. So that's why Lambda and I have to try. What if it doesn't work? What if it fails and you're not you anymore? I'll be fine. How can you be so sure? I told you I wanted to give Lambda a chance. I have to do this, Sharia, for a lot of reasons. So please, let me try. <laughs> Look, this may not be a good plan, but it's all we've got. Are you with me? All right, I'll leave this one to you. Besides, it's not like we could talk him out of it. No, probably not. He's been living with Lambda for like a year now, right? I honestly think he'll be fine. What about you, Richard? Asbel, are you absolutely sure about this? I am. <laughs> All right, the decision is made. We rest tonight and head out first thing in the morning. You okay? You need to find a way to set their minds at ease. Once we board the shuttle, we can't afford any last-minute regrets. Understand? Asbel, if you turned into Lambda, I'd have to resume my mission. That's not gonna happen. He's different from before. I know it's hard, but you just have to trust him. Trust Lambda. Thank you.